Many countries in the world are in mad rush right now to produce more medical ventilators to save lives of many hospital patients hit by the ongoing pandemic outbreak. This COVID-19 outbreak demands stockpiles of these life-saving medical ventilators to keep patients breathing. Hi everyone, Richard Aguilar here again and I'm back with another video for you. So, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you'll always be updated with our new videos. Many countries in the world, together with many renowned private companies, are in total rush to produce more medical ventilators to help support those who fall victim of the ongoing pandemic outbreak. Watch! Number 1 is Ford transforms auto plant to ventilator factory. Because of the lack of life-saving ventilators and the growing calls for a more aggressive government rule to fill the gap, many private companies right now are doing their part in the fight against the ongoing pandemic. A Ford auto plant in Michigan is being converted from making car parts to making ventilators. Ford expects to start building the devices as early as possible, ramping up to 7,200 a week. They've promised to deliver 50,000 by the 4th of July, according to report. Number 2 is China Boosts Ventilator Production Capacity Ventilator makers across China have been stepping up production to meet the surging demand worldwide amid pandemic outbreak. Ventilator manufacturers in China are working hard around the clock to produce more ventilators as the global demand for this life-saving device is surging due to the ongoing pandemic outbreak. Many hospitals around the world have faced a surge of patients with breathing difficulties which is sparking a global hunt for ventilators. Chinese government authorities also urge firms to tighten and secure quality control to meet the standards of importing these breathing devices to foreign countries and regions. Number 3 is a small business teams up with GM to produce more ventilators. Mechanical ventilators which help patients breathe or breathe for them are considered critical to the U.S. effort to contain the worst effects of the pandemic. Ventec Life Systems in Bethel, Washington is working with General Motors to ramp up production of ventilators which U.S. hospitals need amid the pandemic outbreak. The company says it hopes to soon be producing 10,000 ventilators per month. Number 4 is 
number 4 is US private companies help to solve ventilator shortage. The global COVID-19 outbreak has pushed the U.S. health system to the brink. Hospitals are already running out of basic supplies like masks, eye gear, gowns, and ventilators. Medical ventilators are key in helping keep people with the most severe cases of COVID-19 alive. But with the number of infected rising daily, there are not nearly enough of them and no easy way to get more. That's why private companies like Ford, GM, and Tesla are trying to help. Number 5 is, China moves to boost global medical supply against the ongoing pandemic. Businesses in China are orderly resuming operation, injecting stability and confidence to China's economy and global medical supply chain amid COVID-19. Both lawmakers and administration officials in the U.S. say the pandemic has exposed just how vulnerable the country is as it leans on China and other nations to help provide the tools necessary to combat the ongoing pandemic. Number 6 is Ford and GE to make 50,000 ventilators in 100 days. Ford Motor Corporation said it will produce 50,000 ventilators over the next 100 days at a plant in Michigan in cooperation with General Electric's healthcare unit to help and assist with the COVID-19 pandemic. The design of the ventilator is being licensed by GE Healthcare from Florida-based Aaron Corp, a small, privately held company specializing in high-tech pneumatic life support products. Number 7 is, New York gets 1,100 ventilators with the help from China. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says New York has secured a plane load of ventilators from China. And Oregon is sending a shipment of its own to battle the pandemic outbreak at its U.S. core. Number 
Number eight is San Diego company races to produce more ventilators. Because of the ongoing pandemic and the rising need for ventilators, San Diego company races to produce more of these breathing devices. The company has promised to nearly triple its output production of ventilators. ResMed has been shifting its production to create these ventilators. Number 9 is, India comes up with toaster-sized ventilators. India hardly has 40,000 ventilator beds. Scientists in India have come up with a toaster-sized ventilator, offering hope in the fight against the pandemic outbreak. And that concludes this video for today. So, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.